Hi, in this video, you will learn how to edit bar charts in our graph templates. First, let us take a look at the different types of bar charts available in our pack. As you can see here, there are totally seven different types of bar charts available. Let us go to the individual ones and see how they need to be edited. First one is the line bar chart. The reason why we call this as line bar chart is each of these bars looks like a line and we have the data label smack in the middle of each of these lines and it looks very beautiful without cluttering the slide and that is the reason why we call this line bar chart. To edit this graph all you need to do is to click on the chart, right click and go to edit data and when you make the corrections here, the correction reflects here. Now let us try and change the value for March here. Instead of 25, I want to make this as say 52. As soon as I make the correction here, you can see that the March value is automatically changed to 52. It is that simple to create beautiful looking line bar charts using our templates. Let us go to the next template. This one is stylized cluster bar chart. Just as you would edit any bar chart you can edit this one as well. You can go to edit data and just as I mentioned earlier, when there is a yellow cell here, you can always edit the cell. For example, if you want to call this instead of category one, if you want to call this as the performance of uh, Aaron, you can do that and you will see the reflection here. And instead of 2.4 as brand two, if you want to uh, say three here, you can see the reflection here. So that is how you can change the stylized cluster bar chart template. Now this one is slightly different from the usual bar charts that you see. In this specific case, you will see that axis labels alter positions based on positive or negative values. Now let me explain that. Usually whenever you have axis labels shown, they always are on one side. The problem with that is when your bar chart has positive and negative values like the one that you see here, some of these axis labels can't be read because these axis labels might be overlapping these bars. Now in this specific case, you would see that these axis labels automatically alter their position based on the direction in which the bar is. Now to show you how it works, let me right click on the chart, go to edit data. Now in this case we have for February the value as minus 5. What happens if we have to have the value as plus 5? So I'm going to say 5 and you can see here automatically the axis label goes to the other direction and the bar reflects here. The same way if I want to have March as instead of positive 11, if I want to have this as say minus 7, you can see that automatically the reflection is made. So it's a very beautiful chart which makes it very easy for people to read the access labels while showing the data in a very interesting way. Now let us go to the next one which is about slider bars. This chart is useful to communicate percentage completion on different types of projects. For example, if there are five different projects that are around and you need to show the percentage completion of each of these different projects, you can always use the slider bars. Now right click on this, go to edit data and as you can see here, the maximum value is set to 100 and that is the reason why this chart is that useful. Now instead of item three being 37, if you want to make this as say 45, you can see that the change is reflected here. It is very simple. The same chart is shown in a different format here with less clutter. This template shows percentage composition. Let us say there are five phases in a project and you want to show how much of resources are consumed by each of the phases. You can use this specific bar chart. If you want to show the distribution of hours as per phases, you can show that as percentage. So this is a very useful bar chart for project based presentations. Now this is another variation of the earlier one. In this case, we have very clear mention of the percentage completion and also the individual values. And you can see that each of these colors represents different periods in a project. Now those are the different types of bar charts available and you've learned how exactly to edit each of those bar charts. In the next video, I'll show you another set of templates and how to edit them. 
थैंक यू वेरी मच